is Oto Dojo, and I'm going to show you this ASCII art patch in Touch Designer I made. And it uses some research from Pocket 12, uh, notably this UV tiling method to create a grid and drawing from uh, Texture 3D. So thanks to Pocket 12 for that. Um, and I complement it with a replication of texts and some other stuff going on over here. But let's try it out in this new container. So we'll start with just some texts. And um, let's just say, uh, if we're starting with the letter A, we want to auto fit always. So that's like a good size and we can keep it at 256 by 256 resolution or the default. But let's say we want to um, get a bunch of characters and fill up a grid. Well, that is going to take a while by just doing it manually, although you can. So I did the lazy way. We're using some Python. If you use the character CHR and then put in a number like 33 into the Python scripts, you'll get an exclamation point. So you know, if you change this to 34, you get some other characters, etc. So if I do me.digits, um, I'll get nothing because there is no uh, no characters up until 33. So I'll add a number 32 to my Python script to get the explanation point. And then I'll get a replicator comp and put that into the text one into the master operator, make the operator prefix texts, replication by number, and then put a hundred replicants in there. And so this replicated all the way over there, but you'll see all of our text is over here, nice and neat. And you can use different numbers to get different ranges of texts or even larger ranges of texts, it's up to you. And you'll see that there are some blank ones down here, which I actually want to keep. So 95, 200, because it just makes the texture a little bit more interesting for me. Um, so now we need to fill up our texture with this text. So we'll need a switch and grab all of this, put it into the switch and put in our texture 3D top, which will fill it up um, with just exclamation points. Now, if I switch this index, it'll change uh, which text goes in each individual cell. Now, I want to solidify some constant parameters. So I'm gonna bring in a constant, not too many parameters, just, keep track of certain things, make some our life easier. So I'm gonna put in count step. Our count is gonna be 100 uh, for resolution, let's do 1280. And our step will be, um, for now, one divided by 100. So in our texture 3D, our cache size will be a count. And we're going to want to switch the uh, index by apps time seconds, but we want to constrain it to 100. And we want to get an individual character and in each successive uh, slot. So we're gonna speed this up times 60. Now we're going to deactivate the texture and 
we can put in one of these blank text. We'll just select it over here into the first slot over here. So we'll replace single. Now we have a blank one there just for, for later. So now um, we have our texture. We'll make our UVs to allow our texture to stay in individual cells within the, the grid. So for our ramp, we're going to add our resolution and we're going to flip this, flop it to the bottom left, add a reorder top and input two for the green, zero for the blue to get our UV. Then we're going to transform this and scale it down by our step then pivot it to zero and repeat it to get our grid of UV we're going to then remap this texture 3d to our UV and we don't see anything which is expected because our first cell is blank. Now, um, in order to get different characters, we'll have to modify the blue channel. So we'll output blue from two. And let's just start with a ramp and get the resolution correct here then put it into slot two and we'll have a array of letters, but you'll see that there's some kind of crossover between the letters. So we'll change this to nearest pixels and that fixes the problem. And yeah, this is a good start. Um, but we'll find that there's some like movement and it's not so consistent with the characters over here. Some are, some characters are cut off. So what we'll need to do is actually quantize this blue using a limit top and quantize the position to the step. And now we look back, it looks better. So the percent signs are now not cut off at all. Perfect. Now, if we modify the step to something a little larger, we'll be able to see our texture better. And now we can play around with something different other than a ramp, like a noise. And we'll make our noise twelve eighty by twelve eighty. Put it into our limit. And let's split our screen left and right. We will hide backdrop tops here and make this into a top viewer. And let's add a null for the end of our sequence. Perfect. So now if we modify our noise, we'll get to see different letters. So if we translate our noise, it would be a little overwhelming. Now we get a noise translation. 
And what we could do is actually colorize this composite a pin light and composite it like that. Looks okay, I guess. Let's reduce the colors. Cool. Now, uh, you can put in whatever texture you want. So let's say, let's put in some text. So we will um, multiply this text. And replace it here. Then, yeah, you can just put in faces, anything. Um, if you want to switch the order of the numbers at all, you can insert a math top here and change the range of the blue values. Um, slightly to get you uh, different textures. So 